At the Portuguese MotoGP, Jorge Lorenzo blamed Francesco Bagnaia for the crash involving Marc Marquez, stating that he should have allowed his rival to pass. Although Marquez made it clear that Bagnaia's maneuver was only slightly acceptable, race direction decided that the crash was a racing incident, which both riders and now Lorenzo agree with. In a fight for P5, Bagnaia tried to dive up the inside of Marquez in Portimao, but both riders ended up crashing. Marquez finished P16, while Bagnaia did not restart. Lorenzo said to Sky, Although he is an aggressive rider, I think Mark is not at fault right now, because the person overtaking in front does not have a full 360-degree view of the situation. Instead, the one behind, Bagnaia in this case, was able to see Marquez's plan to go back to the line. Therefore, in my opinion, Pecco had the opportunity to prevent this fall at this point by allowing Mark to pass in front of him and find himself further ahead. As a result, he saw a small opening, which he opened by opening the throttle a bit more than usual, despite the short opening they eventually touched. In this case, I believe Pecco had a chance to avoid the crash and Mark is not at fault, but it's fair to give either of them not a penalty. Lorenzo said in response to a question about whether Bagnaia should have been punished. No, but if Pecco had accepted Mark's overtaking to try again later, in my opinion, no one would have crashed. The incident really helped Jorge Martin. Having won the Portuguese MotoGP, he currently leads the standings after two rounds. But Lorenzo insisted that Marquez and Bagnaia will continue to compete for the title. Sure, of course, there's still plenty of racing left, with just two completed so far, according to Lorenzo. Pecco showed coldness and serenity. Perhaps he made certain mistakes, such as the braking on Saturday that cost him the win, or he made a little calculating error when he took that move with Marquez. Nonetheless, Pecco is still a great rider, calm and smart. Mark, on the other hand, has done well at Ducati despite its difficulty. Even if it's not much, his bike is in somewhat worse shape because it's a 2023 model. Mark seems to be moving faster and feeling better. As a result, Mark and Pecco will be considered favourites to win the World Championship. Enea Bastianini, Bagnaia's factory Ducati teammate, was also backed by Lorenzo to compete for the championship. Despite an injury in his first season in red, Bastianini's pole position in Portimao over the weekend served as a reminder of his talent. Lorenzo said that Enea was very unlucky last year. Enea had the same problem with the bike from the previous year. We've found a competitive Enea once more now that he's fully recovered, in perfect physical shape, and riding a bike that feels better. Perhaps in the latter stages of races, where he is undoubtedly the strongest, he is not yet showing his full potential. However, as he gains confidence, we will see a talented Bastianini who will compete for victories and most definitely for the World Championship. Regarding the incident involving Marc Marquez and Francesco Bagnaia at the Portuguese MotoGP, Jack Miller gives his views. Miller highlighted his concerns about the incident at the start of the race, saying, I kind of could because those two were absolutely banging each other early in the race when we went out of Turn 5. They crashed as they exited Turn 5, and during the acceleration through Turn 6, they probably touched three or four times each time. I was trying to follow the group, of course, but I was just waiting for an aeroplane crash in front of me every time they hit each other. Every time they hit, the one on the outside was losing the front and the one on the inside was almost high-siding. They were all pushing hard at first, just like we were, and on to the end, it was clear that everything had reached a boiling point. There was no love lost there. I'm sure those boys will return to fight in Texas, it's a hard place to pass on this track to pass nicely, and it's unfortunate what happened, but that's racing. Miller wasn't the only rider who expressed his opinions about it. Alex Espargaro described the dramatic crash as a racing incident, but with the caveat that Bagnaia should have done more to prevent it. Espargaro went on, I saw a replay of it. It's a racing incident for me. It's never easy to get around this corner. However, I believe Pecco could give Mark a little more room to avoid the contact. After the race, Enea Bastianini, who had outperformed Bagnaia throughout the race, was surprised by what he saw in the cool-down room. Speaking about the incident involving his fellow Ducati riders, Bastianini was careful not to lay blame on any side. 
I'm not sure what actually happened, Bastianini said. However, it's never easy to overtake when fighting, and this kind of contact can happen. Ducati will want to put a stop to that. It will be hard to keep a lid on it. How will Ducati handle the impact from Marc Marquez and Francesco Bagnaia's Portimao crash? Gigi Deligna, the Ducati boss, was then very careful not to point the finger at any rider for the crash, but he will undoubtedly have to deal with what happens next. Given the level of risk, we expected those two would be racing aggressively this year and perhaps for something similar to happen. Knowing Marquez, he wants to race as hard as he can against the likes of Bagnaia and Martin to prove a point. Knowing that Marquez is riding a bike similar to them, Bagnaia sees this as an opportunity to really prove himself against a rider with Marquez's talent and reputation. Marquez made the right choice with that. Although he ran a little bit wide, he did not give up the corner. He could have expected to take the line that he did because he was still just on the line. Bagnaia was very aggressive. Aggressive, but fair. It was just one of those situations where two riders were fighting for position and to be ahead of the other and crashing was unavoidable. It was a fair racing incident. Whether you think Marquez is at fault or not, he's always in the limelight. It's something Ducati will want to take care of and make sure it doesn't happen again. It's not something that the factory team wants, especially with Bagnaia competing for the title once more. It is never easy to see when Ducati riders crashing. It was really dramatic. Going forward, they'll want to put a stop to that. It will be hard to keep a lid on it, for sure. After looking at the incident, the stewards decided no more action was necessary. One could argue that Marquez should have given himself a little more space because he knew Bagnaia would try to fight back, but it's also possible that the latter realized Marquez wouldn't have been able to see where he would be given the turn's angle. Martin took off to an 18-point lead in the championship, and Bagnaia was angry because he left with zero. However, he accepted the steward's decision about the racing incident, at least in public. Marquez was a little more direct in his opinion, stated, After an hour from the race, it is hard for two riders to be in agreement. However, I told the stewards that there was a racing incident on the very limit as they entered the race direction. The limit must be decided by the stewards. Not just the incident, it was a mistake from Pecco from what I saw. Since he eventually made an attempt to come back, well, it was too optimistic and contact can happen. However, it was a mistake for us to be fighting for fifth and sixth place, two points or less, and he was having a lot of trouble, particularly with his rear tyres. What are your thoughts? Is Jorge Lorenzo right? Should Bagnaia have given more space to Marquez? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.